So at this guys, at this point, I've uh, I'm in still in auto mode, guys. We're almost done here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and place my stickers on on my auxiliaries because that's gonna help me program things a lot quicker when I go onto my phone and program this system up or I could go inside on the in-house unit and program it up because once I changed this bezel board, all the memory in the system was lost. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up here, grab my stickers. First one I need is obviously filter pump, which is there. The next one I'm gonna need is booster pump, which was auxiliary, uh, auxiliary one. We're back live here. Um, we're pretty much already done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on um, just the the one thing that we really need to do right now that I'm going to wait here for a minute, I need to put back on the service controller door and I'll show you how we did that because we didn't really shoot that when we uh, um, took it off. So there's basically just one screw that's going to hold it on. I'm going to go ahead and drop this onto the hinges. There is two little tabs right here, one on the top, one on the bottom that drop right into it. By taking the door off, you're just going to save yourself some time of sitting there and holding it all day long. Um, it's very simple to um, pull it off. Go ahead and close the door and then on the side of the box on the lower hinge you're gonna find a little hole that holds the screw that allows the door not to come off and you just screw that back in. We've um, pretty much have installed our low voltage board. We've got all of our uh, auxiliaries labeled up and pretty much our last thing to do is to go and take this antenna and put it into the virtual world of the internet world and then we're going to go and pick it up and, and pick it up on the on the internet and wire it into the Wi-Fi. So what I need to do is in order to do that I gotta be on Wi-Fi right here my signals a little a little weak again so I'm gonna hold my phone up and get onto the Wi-Fi. Okay so here guys I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda go back through this again with my phone I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go and click on Wi-Fi um, because I'm getting ready to ping this switch on the antenna and put the antenna into the virtual world. So I'm going to go ahead and move the switch from wire from Wi-Fi to wired and back to Wi-Fi. And what it's done is this antenna is now roaming around looking for somebody to pick it up. And here it is. Here it's come up. It it, it um, and, and now I'm going to get this antenna because it's now become a router and sending out a signal waiting to go. I'm going to make this antenna come back in and tie it to the, the Wi-Fi of the residence that we're working on. So now, now that I've, I've checked the iAqualink antenna that we're dealing with, I now have to authorize this antenna to connect to, to that uh, homeowner's um, internet connection. And once we can get the antenna to come up, we're going to accept that into the into the into the Wi-Fi. I hope you've enjoyed this five-part series on installation of the Aqualink 2.0 and how to get it up on the internet so that you can operate the system from home. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. We appreciate it.